the clock, the never-ending problem of catalytic converter thefts is now causing a shortage for the part. In fact, auto parts shops say it's also driving up the cost really everywhere right now. Channel 3's Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is breaking down the impact. Waterbury Auto Parts used to be able to get catalytic converters in just a couple days, sometimes even same day. Now it's more like weeks, sometimes months. They keep telling us that they're stuck on container ships, they're shipping issues, you know, stuff like that, but just very, very hard to find. And their prices have shot up, some even doubling. Let's take a Ford truck. A Ford truck converter is a big Y pipe. It used to be somewhere around four or $500. It's now around nine to a thousand. Yeah. Store manager Denise Krakow says she's seen theft victims resort to cheaper alternatives. However, that can lead to more costs and problems. If they're not specific universal one for your vehicle, you know, it, it will not work. It'll throw your emissions off, so you won't be able to pass emissions. Um, and then you end up having to buy more pipes, you know, to install it, everything, in order to, like, Mickey Mouse it together, <laughs> so to speak. A bill in the legislature aims to curb catalytic converter thefts. SB 256, as it is now, would require the parts still attached to a vehicle at the scrap dealer to be bought. Also, the vehicle's VIN number would have to be etched on the converter, along with other restrictions. Joe Genovese with A-Right Used Auto Parts in New Britain feels some of this will help, but adds some of the bill needs work. These aren't going back on the road, okay? These are going to the next guy who's just basically going to take this apart, pull out the precious metals, and they're going to separate it, and they're going to sell it as just the, the precious metal separated. So there's no point us vinetching that. SB 256 still needs approval from both sides of the legislature before it heads to the governor's desk for a signature. Here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.